If you want to display lyrics or slides in Ableton Live while you're playing and depending changes or automating changes while the music is playing, you can do this with this Max for Live devices or those Max for Live devices I'm presenting here. Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrama.com. I do a lot of technical solutions for uh, people playing live with Ableton Live, Max for Live solutions. So um, we have this and those devices here, which are uh, loading JPEG or PNG images which are stored on your Mac from a certain location you can pick and you can automate those changes in here in envelopes in clips or obviously in arrangement as well and as you can see those can be set to change and you can select those different slides here and you can set up the changes how you like. Okay, so let me show you how you can set this up. So first of all, you would need Max for Life, which is included in Ableton Life Suite. Um, it can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Life Standard as well. And you need to get my devices here. And the links are in the video description for my devices here. So this will work with uh, 10, 11 and 12. I'm using 12 here to show you how this can be set up. If you're using 10 or 11, make sure to update Max for Live to the latest version. There is a link uh, on the selling page and in the video description here as well, how you can do that. Okay, so um, let us have a quick look on how to set this up. So if I just uh, delete everything and set up everything from the beginning, let's maybe um, have those two devices staying in here. So we got two devices which are just for displaying. So um, you can see they have a different dimension and you can actually zoom and set them up, store them, uh, store the position and the zoom where you like. You have one which is like A4 landscape and one which is a little bit more wider and more 16 by 9 dimension ish so um this one is um yeah maybe better for um using it on computer screens you can if you have your ipad connected as second screen here you can play stuff uh the windows on your second screen there as well Okay, so we have the pick devices. So those are the displaying devices and we have the pick devices. So the devices for uh, selecting the different slides. Again, slides means which should be JPEG or PNG files, okay? So you need to edit those or maybe you have some already from uh, different um, softwares or whatever and then you can just and this is how easy th th this is so let's say we have one device which we call song one and now we need to define a folder um, from the slides we want to take so i set up those uh, two folders here just for showing purposes i select the folder i hit open and i can already see those files from this folder and i can see those files from this folder are now being placed in here and i could actually now already select those via this menu here or i have a second option here which is for um, selecting those via those buttons those button can obviously be midi mapped or you can use a direct midi note in which makes sense i'm going to show you later if you want to set up midi notes to trigger this in clips. Okay, so we have song one and now let's do song two. So I go to load folder again and I select the folder um, I set up for the slides. So you can have up to 127 slides in one device. Um, and it's, it's up to you if you say like, well, actually I want all my slides in one folder um, up to 127 that's possible so if you have a lot of songs in your Ableton Live set um, you're using for performing you might want to set up single folders here and you want to make sure um, that you have not more than 127 slides in there because this is um, the maximum number it can take so we can see here now uh, first song we uh, selected the wrong folder here I just seeing this song two so now we have the right things in here um, one very important bit is um, those uh, load folder um, option here connecting the folder is connecting 
um, this device or those devices, the, the, sl the slider pick devices here, to the location of those folders on your hard drive. So if you delete those or if you move those, this connection obviously is being broken. So you need to make sure to store your slides somewhere where you're gonna keep them because this is the connection you just made. Okay, so let's set up some automations and first let's do this in session view. So we just gonna create an empty MIDI clip. I just double click on an empty clip slot here I go to the envelope section, looks a little bit different in 11 and in 10. Um, and then I select the right device. So I caught them song one, song two. And this is what it's showing in my envelope section here. I can select the right device I want to map. And now I want to select the slides pick um, parameter here. Okay, so if I now move in, zoom in, I mean, um, I can set a breakpoint and I want to set a breakpoint at the very beginning, which is the start. At the, at the very bottom, you can see you will get a start um, breakpoint here and you always need a start breakpoint if you're changing between devices. Okay, so now Obviously, I want to have the first slide being selected here and I can actually move this. If I hold command, you can see that I can move this a little bit. Um, yeah, not without being um, bind to the grid. So this is now really, um, really, really at the beginning. And now I want to set a second breakpoint. I just go to the red envelope line here. I click on there. If I move this and then right click, edit value, I can now type in a value here as well. One, and you can see sometimes it's not working and there seems to be a little bug in here. I type in one now and it's working fine. So um, let's move this to the beginning here as well. Let's zoom out. And let's set the second and the third and the fourth breakpoint here. And this should work now straight away. Edit value. Let's put in second. Um, next breakpoint. Right click on the breakpoint. Edit value. Let's put in third. And <clears throat> let's put in the fourth one here. Edit value four. So now when I'm playing this clip, we can see when it's going over there, it will select those slides because this is automated. Now we can see this on here. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now I want to do a second clip for the second song. So maybe let's call this clip here song one. So same procedure here. I go to the envelope section. Or I create a clip, go to the envelope section, select the right song, the right device, slides pick. I set a start point here. Uh, let's set one very close to the beginning. Um, I just move this um, a little edit value, put it one, not working, interesting. It should work now when I move this again. Edit value number one, and now it's working. Interesting. Okay, so you might need to um, have to do this manually for the first, uh, which is not a problem as well if you just move up a little. And then sometimes, and on a trackpad, this works really well, but I'm using a mouse here, which is not as accurate. So it's a little bit fiddly to get to the right value. So I'm holding down, clicking on the value here, and then the breakpoint and then I move this one up. Okay, so let's do this like this. So now I have song two set up here as well. Let's call this song two, command R if you want to rename a clip. Song two and you can see those automations are now being set up and obviously this can be done quite quick. Remember, if you are changing between slides pick devices here if you are changing from this one to this one you need to have the start breakpoint um at the beginning here at the bottom just to let the device know it's actually moving to a different one okay so now let's have a look how we can set up automations here in arrangement because editing in arrangement makes some more sense if you set up stuff 
to a song and then later on you might want to copy that over in the session view that automation you set up let me show you how that works so if you're in arrangement anyways obviously <laughs> Doing stuff in arrangement <clears throat> makes sense for you. I mean, setting up the automation. So if you have, for example, your song in the first top track here, and then you're gonna do the automations in this track, you have the devices on here, obviously. So let's set up this real quick. So we need to activate the automation view. We need to select the right device, song one here, for example, and now we always want to set a start point here to make sure the right device the right menu is being activated and selected so now we're gonna use the number one here which can be the breakpoints can be set with your mouse as well it works quite well with the trackpad with the mouse it can be a little bit fiddly you still have the edit value function if you want to use that but as i showed you before the edit value function can work sometimes and sometimes it doesn't put a number two it works straight away that's great so uh, it's usually the first point where the edit value is not working for this menu here this seems to be a little bug in Ableton Live uh, and the API for Max for Life here. So if I now have the setup here, we can see this is changing, selecting the right device, selecting this menu down below here and doing those automations. So if you want to set up slides and breakpoints here and you want your music playing you could have you could do that in the arrangement here and jump back jump forth a little bit more easier so if you have set up stuff in here now but you are playing live in session view you could select um, this part here where you have your automation you could hit command C bomb or control c on a windows machine we go to session view and we create a new clip and we go to the right value here the right envelope section you need to make sure you select envelopes again this looks a little bit different on ableton live 10 and 11 the envelope section here and if you have the right parameter selected here as well i can now copy in that automation I set and you can see those breakpoints are being put in here and now if you are playing in session view you can set up things here this way okay so there is one more um, interfacing possibility here for the device and we have the first previous and next so if we want to or if you want to um, control things via MIDI notes that's possible here as well so for example you can MIDI map and key map those buttons here as well um, and you can route in direct MIDI's and that's become it's becoming really interesting if you're using certain functions and where you are let's say you want to hit um, um, a note change or um, going always to the next slide with a drum pad you can route midi straight into here you just need to set this up to listen to the right midi pitch you're sending in you can do that via hitting s and if my midi keyboard is being turned on and if the input here is being set on let's delete the first track so we have a little bit more space so now i'm routing midi in here i'm sending midi in via my keyboard and you can see this is mapping and waiting for the right midi note input to be selected here and now um something is wrong i need to check that again it's selecting the wrong ah now it's selecting the right value because i put in the wrong note so now the c3 would trigger the first slide of this um song one and then if i hit a d3 if i put in a d3 it's going always to the next one so this technique now because i'm using midi notes in here i could actually use midi notes here as well for um midi clips if you want to so what you need to do now is you need to set up the midi notes you just 
put in and if we switch off the scale <laughs> scale awareness which should be um, switched off now because you are setting custom MIDI notes in here so let's say we have the C3 so this will always trigger the first and then we have the D3 and this is always triggering the next so if we make this a little bit slower we can see now first one is being selected next one next one next one and if i start this clip again you can see the first is being selected here so this is now listening to midi notes obviously you now need to make sure that you're not setting up the same midi notes on the second device here that you have different notes for that or that you automate and switch off devices here okay so again you have two different views here so if you have stuff being set up not in a4 but in a more wider landscape um 16 by 9 ish um, layout you can see you can use that as well you can have multiple um, slides display devices slides display devices if you would like to so if you want to have slides being displayed in different locations on maybe different screens you can do that here as well so links are in the video description here if you're looking for something which is a portrait um, layout i have a second device which is linked uh, in the video description here as well for portrait slides for example for music sheet uh, sheet music <laughs> display stuff have a look in the links and take care bye bye